Welcome collectors and diecast hobby enthusiasts. In this video, it's one of those two-for-one specials that I know are enjoyed oh so much. Today we're going to be reviewing probably one of the most requested models over the years by you, the diecast collector. And uh, Diecast Masters has come through for you guys. And here they are. These are the 1 to 50 scale Diecast Masters Transport Series XL 120 low profile HDD trailers with uh, boosters low boy sets. So why are these so significant? We've had low boys uh, by Diecast Masters for uh, a few years now. Well, the reason that these are so significant is because now they have uh, Diecast Masters has afforded you guys the opportunity to purchase just the low boys uh, themselves without having to buy a tractor uh, with them or without having to buy the tractor and a piece of heavy equipment with it. So, for example, if you already have one of the Western Star or one of the International Trucks and uh, you just wanted to buy the low boy trailer, now you have the opportunity to do that and there's two different versions available so you have this one right here which is item number 91032 this one comes with two boosters and it's set up with the outriggers not extended so you would use this low boy uh, for non wide or oversized loads and we will take a closer look at each of these in just a moment and the other one is item number 91033 this one comes with a Jeep, whereas the other one does not, and this one comes with the outriggers extended for a setup for an oversized load. You got all that? Pretty simple. So both of them come with a single axle and a uh, tandem axle booster set, a bunch of accessories such as, you know, an oversized load sign and your pins needed to lock the goosenecks and things into them, some chrome wheels. Both of these are... Uh, tried them or three axle low boys so both of them are the same setup there so let's go ahead and get both of these unboxed and we will take a closer look at them before we do that let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging and because of the packaging is essentially the same for both let's just look at it for this one really the only difference is the item number again if you want the uh, two boosters and jeep with the outriggers deployed that version is 91033 here you go. Here's a better description on the back of both of the different products offered by Diecast Masters. 91032 to recap is the XL120 low profile HDD trailer with two boosters. This version again does not have the outriggers deployed. And then 91033 is XL120 low profile HDD trailer with two boosters and Jeep. Again, the the advantage of this one or really what differentiates the two is this one comes with a Jeep and the outriggers are permanently deployed on this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox both of these on camera. Now, how you would set these trailers up is basically identical uh, to what you would see on the other trailers, uh, the other low boy trailers, rather, that you've seen with the international sets or with the CT660 sets that have been reviewed on this channel. And again, I will post a link to that at the end of this video so you guys can go ahead and get a quick recap on that or maybe watch it again or maybe watch it for the first time if you're new inside of the box you have an instructional sheet and again this is standard with all of these low boy sets and it, it explains how the extending flip neck works on the gooseneck of the trailer and you have a little pin that goes in on both sides that locks it in uh, you can use either the slide pin or a Phillips head screw, both of which are provided. And then the uh, slotted king pin, you can either move to here on the flippy part of the... Well, that's a great professional technical term, Tom. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go with it. You can use for the flippy part of the, uh, of the gooseneck or the regular part there, of course, if you want the flippy part to be, well, flipped over. So there you go. Again, most of you guys, that's pretty straightforward. You know how to do that. Also, you have the Transport Series catalog, and again, I want to stress that beforehand, um, you could get these low boy sets uh, with trucks. So they came with a tractor. In this case, these, these are the internationals. Um, these two had the standard low boy setup. The white version had the outrigger planks on it. Now, for 2020, here they are. Again, you can get them uh, separately, so you can purchase them to go with any tractor that you have by diecast masters all right let us get the trailer out first 
the main part. And I have, for sake of this review and time, I have already, on this one, put the... Let's do it this way. Put the locking pin in, which goes right here, so that the flip part will not flop and flip around wildly like a wild animal. But that's how you would put it in. And again, the other one just for added security if you wanted to. But really, you only need one would go right here. And if you wanted to move the kingpin, uh, use a flathead screwdriver, move this to there. Very, very simple. Here are the aforementioned screws right in here and locking pins. Here's the oversized load sign right here. Here is the Jeep, right here. Next, we'll work on showing you guys the boosters. So again, both of these, uh, regardless of which version that you purchase, I can't stress that enough, both of them will come with a single axle booster that you see here and the uh, tandem axle booster that you will see in a minute. So again, if you're into boosters, don't let that detract from your decision of which version you want to purchase uh, with these trailers because they, they do come with either version. So with some effort and some reluctancy, is that a word? Got to look that up. I think reluctancy is a word. They are free from the packaging. All right, let's get it out of here. Now, here is the other one again, just to show you. And I will remove basically just the low boy trailer since everything else is the same in here uh, to show you guys the difference. And then a little bit later on in the video, um, I will show you a couple different pieces of Diecast Masters Caterpillar Highline Series equipment that would be applicable for each of these different type of trailers. Uh, again, most of you guys are, you know, pretty knowledgeable and you're aware of that, but again, there are some new people. And uh, so we like to, we like to kind of educate people and show people around here. All right, let's get started. So, Let's assemble the trailer in a um, in its in its biggest configuration possible. So here is the standard low boy. Let's put on the Jeep, and both of these, or well, I guess actually just this wheel because of course you would need this hooked up to a truck. But this fifth wheel, just like on the trucks, does slide. So you see that right here. You can slide and move this up and down, which you can see on camera. So you can position it really wherever you want to. So it is hooked up on there. And eh, let's, you know what, let's put it up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so we've got that hooked up. Said we're going big. And the way that you attach the uh, boosters, and the boosters do turn, by the way, which is really nice. So you can pose the trailer uh, turning as they just hook over these two notches at the back here. Very simple. But we like simplicity. It tends to work. And then finally, for your aesthetic details, you would insert your oversized load sign right here at the back. Boom, boom, right there into the two predetermined holes. Make sure it goes in there. Tell it you're the boss. There we go. Don't let it fight you. So there is the trailer with the Jeep, with the two-axle booster, booster set up in its biggest configuration that you want. Uh, let's go ahead and hook up a tractor to it. So available separately, here is an International HX520 by Diecast Masters in blue. One of my, uh, one of my favorite colors that they, they did on these international trucks is this gorgeous blue color. Okay, so we have it we have it all hooked up, and I think we're I think we're still on the screen at this point, so we're we're winning there, and uh, because this is the extended outriggers version, let's go ahead and put a tracked machine on it, because that's what you would use these type of oversized load 
uh, low boys for, and why not the 330 Next Generation Cat Excavator to complete your display. So there you have it, collectors. That is the XL120 HG HDG low boy uh, by Diecast Masters, again, with the two-axle booster and the Jeep with the outriggers deployed. Uh, again, that is item number 71033. Same item number for the other one, just add a 3-2 instead of 3-3. And I will show you guys that one now. That version we're going to put in a slightly, slightly smaller configuration. And we'll show you the... See if we can do some YouTube magic here. So if you look at the deck of the trailers, that's the basic difference. So the one in my right hand, obviously, is the... Uh, outriggers extended for a wide load. The one in my left hand is uh, item number 32, which has the outriggers that are not deployed. Really, for all other intents and purposes, the low boys are the same. Pay no attention to the different gooseneck setups. Again, I've, I've done that just to demonstrate that you can either extend it further out, or you can have the flippy uh, part of it flopped over. Just to demonstrate both of those are available. So let's bring in a different Diecast Masters tractor. Here we have a Kenworth T880, another new release coming very, very soon. So here what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to insert the pin right here to lock it in. So you would have to insert the locking pin for this to stay, but hopefully with some help with some camera magic, it'll just cooperate with us for sake of the review. But again, uh, you would want to insert one of those locking pins to make sure that it stays. So there we go. Now we're not going to need our oversized load sign here on this load because prototypical of this style of low boy, I have a Diecast Masters Caterpillar CB13 Asphalt Compactor. And as you can see, this is not a very wide machine. So we'll put him up on here. And there you have it. It fits on there. With no trouble whatsoever. So there you have it, collectors. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this video. I hope I did a, uh, a fair enough job explaining the differences of these two products. In a lot of ways, they are similar. In a few ways, they are different. And the biggest selling point about these sets, other than, I can't emphasize this enough, these awesome chrome wheels back here, man, they look good, is the fact that you now have the opportunity to just purchase the trailer separately. You don't have to shell out a whole lot of money at one time to buy um, the the set that comes with, you know, a truck, the trailer, and in some cases, you know, when the sets first came out, they had, you know, the tractor, the trailer, and a piece of cat equipment. You know, everybody's aware of what's going on in the world uh, right now, and everybody, regardless of what you're... Uh, what your income level is. Everybody is is feeling it and strapped. So really, uh, this this could not have come out at a great at a better time. Now you have the opportunity to own one of these high end trailers, and uh, finally, you know you can purchase just the trailers to go with maybe you know a truck that you may have uh, purchased a while ago already. As always, collectors, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Until next time, take care and be safe. I will see you in the next video.